From 79 to 84, there were 3,245 murders in Miami. And outside the tourist bureau and the cops, no one much cared about that. What got the U.S. government to take notice was the money. Billions of dollars a year, all flowing from the U.S. to Colombia. And that, America can take. A group of powerful businessmen went and met with President Reagan. They were terrified the narco economy would sink the real economy of Miami. Or maybe they were pissed off that they weren't getting a cut. Whatever it was, the businessman came at just the right time. It's back to school time for America's children. It was time for America to suit up against a new enemy. Drugs are menacing our society. They're threatening our values and undercutting our institutions. They're killing our children. It was classic Reagan. Folksy, direct, and tough. He vowed to go after drugs at the source. But it was Nancy who stole the show. So to my young friends out there, life can be great, but not when you can't see it. So open your eyes to life, to see it in the vivid colors that God gave us as a precious gift to his children. Say yes to your life. And when it comes to drugs and alcohol, just say no. No, 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 Pablo, no, 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 no. <laughs> They say when a nuclear holocaust destroys the world, only the cockroaches will survive. I guess they were wrong. <laughs>